So it says, 1 Timothy 2.13, For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived. See? But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. She's the one that went off. And she in turn gave it to Adam. So that's the same cycle we see going on today in America and in the world. You got the serpent, you know, seducing these women to his ways. And then you got the women seducing the men. And that's why they did that, to separate the household. Because they know that if they could get the woman against the man, that the whole, the whole family structure would fall apart. Because it was a man's job to go out to work, to provide. And it was a woman's job when a man came home, you know, to soothe him, to comfort him. The scriptures speak about a woman that will not comfort her husband. I think that's, uh, that might be Ecclesiastes 25. That will not, um, not comfort. <clears throat> Sirach 25, yep. A wicked woman abateth the courage, meaning she, she breaks your courage, maketh in heavy continence, right? Because here it is, you catch in hell already, and you come at home to a rattlesnake, you know? And a wounded heart, see? Your mind is, you know, fucked up. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees. So it's a woman's job to be a comfort. Remember, the Lord created Eve for what? For a helpmeet. The word woman itself means servant. All right? So let's go back where we at. So 1 Timothy 2, 14, And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. So the woman was the one that went off. Why? Because she is the weaker vessel. The sooner you get that through your skull, the, the sooner... You know, you'll, you'll be on the right path of be, uh, uh, to your womanhood. Because a woman, uh, 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 the definition of a woman is not based uh, on the fact that you have titties and, and a vagina. Okay? That you can pop out babies. You know, beasts do that. You have beasts in the forest that have vaginas and, and, and titties. And they pop out children all the time. That doesn't make you a woman. What makes you a woman is following what the Lord set you for you to follow. Following instructions, which you find it hard to do, especially you black women. And you, you a so-called Puerto Rican woman, you are like a close second. And those are the two top tribes. So what do you think the rest of the tribes are going to do if they see the two top tribes going off? They're going to follow right in those steps. But you, bought, you, you, you drank the serpent's venom, so now deal with it. That's why this woman's here boohooing. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know? Where are people working? What are y'all doing? Where you go for basic life needs and necessities and still have your life and enjoy some part of your life? Like now that does not sound, those, those do not sound like the words of a proud woman. <laughs> this sounds like the words of a broken woman. And you know what broker? The Lord humbled her ass. Humility broke her. You know? Humility broke this woman down. She had one mindset, one thought, and if she would have been able, if she would have been doing good, you think she would have been doing a video like this? Oh, hell no. She'd have been doing videos talking all kind of shit, probably twerking on the video, you know, talking all kind of cash money shit. But guess what? The Lord is humbling this woman. And this is, this is going to be the face of all of you women out here that talk that talk. You stuck up, proud as proud look as hoes. I mean, you should see the pride on these fucking skanks out here, man. It's through the roof. It's through the, to the point where you walk anywhere you go. All you want to do is just punt bitches. Pow! Kick them bitches through the, through the uprights. You know, kick the bitch to the moon. That's what you really want to do. We know we can't do it, but that's what you want to do. These bitches lack humility. They lack humility. But the Lord's going to put you in a precarious situation where you're going to, ex you're going to be uh, uh, so traumatized 
that all of that bullshit that you learned from the serpent is going to leak right out of you. And you're going to suddenly remember, oh, I am a woman. And you're going to learn how to be a woman and how to serve. You know? So let's go to Psalms 58. Let's start at 1. Psalms 58 and 1. Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? This is dealing with you Edomites. See, this is prayer for the punishment of the wicked. Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. And who has the power to do this? Esau. Let's go to, matter of fact. Let's go to uh, Micah, 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. They have that power. The wicked, the Edomites, they have that power to do this. Why? Because that power was given unto them by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So if you give something to someone, it is yours in possession. So you have possession of the world. And instead of doing what's right, but you have the you, you have the the uh, the um, the book to do the right thing, but you won't do it. You know why? Because you are the wicked. Let's go real quick to Isaiah twenty six. Cause this is, see the the way the world is upside down like it is. Is you got them devils that got it to this point, especially you small hats, you rat bastards. Isaiah twenty six and ten. Let favor be shown to the wicked, Esau. Yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Why? Because it's not. It's not in him to do the right thing. Oh, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Salakia. We get this. And this is you woman's problem and you Jakes out there that, that drank that bullshit. Proverbs 12, 26, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. Especially you women. You being, you being seduced by the serpent's venom. The word seduce them is thai, thai or thai ha, to err, to wander, see, to go astray, stagger, to wander about physically, of intoxication. You've been intoxicated by the serpent's venom. You along with the other nations, you've been, you, you've been sipping that cup of the serpent's juice. Uh, Revelation 17 and 2, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, with, meaning with America, buying into all this bullshit, this mold lifestyle and all of that other stuff. Women's lib, you know, because some of these nations are, 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 are with that shit. Some of them ain't, but some of them are. And the inhabitants of the earth have made have been made drunk with the wine of a fornication. So you sip that cup. <coughs> you sip that juice of the serpent. And guess what? You're paying for it now. So Proverbs 12, 26, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. And it was given into, into his hand. He has that power to do that. So Psalm 58 and 2, yea, in heart you work wickedness, you weigh the violence of your hands on the earth. And this is, the, this is, when you look at the earth today and the fucked up position that it is, this is what happens when you rule in wickedness. When you do things backwards. When you destroy the planet, when you destroy the minds of the people, when you destroy the air, when you destroy the water, when you destroy the food supply, when you destroy the natural growth of food. When you distort seeds, this is what happens when you take out the, the um, scavengers of the sea where they can't do their job because you have people eating that shit. This is what happens. That's a good precept, bro. I'm going to get that. The water. I'm going to go. I'm going to come back to this, but the uh, elder Hawaii from the uh, North Carolina camp brought out an excellent precept um first timothy five and that's what these instructions are for you know so that you can 
you, you have something to to um, as a guideline to keep you in check. But you don't want to hear this. 